Hello and welcome to another TLC Tutoring Company Accounting Lesson. In this video, we will be going over contribution margin ratio. So if you are just joining us, please be sure that you go back to our unit contribution margin and total contribution margin videos first. That's going to make the contribution margin ratio much, much easier to understand. But since uh, you've probably already kind of taken a look at some of our videos, let's jump right into it. As always, if you'd like to follow along, there's a link in the description below to this spreadsheet that you can use. All right, so contribution margin ratio. We are no longer dealing with dollar amounts. We are now dealing with a ratio, which is actually kind of, it's, it's a percentage, right? So the contribution margin ratio is finding what percentage of our sales is left over to cover fixed costs and operating profit. So in our prior two videos, we keep talking about contribution margin as this uh, measurement of how much is left over every time we sell a good or when we sell all of our goods to cover fixed costs and operating profit. We're doing the same thing here. Just now we're doing it as a percentage of sales. Okay. Now, usually what confuses students the most when they start getting into these contribution margins uh, ratios is that there are technically two formulas for it. Okay. The first formula is when you are given totals, right? So kind of like with our total contribution margin, total sales minus total variable costs divided by total sales. Okay, so that's one formula that you could use for contribution margin ratio. The second formula is on a per unit basis, right? So we could go ahead and be given per unit amounts. And in that case, per unit sales, per unit variable costs, divided by per unit sales. So either on a unit basis or total basis, okay? So let's go ahead and hide these. Or actually, I could just kind of scroll down. It's a little slow, but it's right there. There you go. Uh, so when we're taking a look at the contribution margin ratio, we need to decide, are we doing this in totals or are we doing it in per unit amounts? And that decision is going to be based on the information that they give you in the problem. Right. So let's try G first. A company sells its units for $30 per unit and has a variable cost of $17 per unit. Calculate the company's contribution margin ratio. So this might look a little familiar. If for those of you who watch the unit contribution margin ratio, we did this before in A. But uh, let's just kind of follow the formulas that we have specifically for the contribution margin ratio. So first things first, uh, is are they giving us per unit amounts or are they giving us totals? They are giving us per unit. So we're going to be using this second formula here. Now, for those of you who are very observant, you probably already recognize that the numerator in this formula is the same thing for when we're finding unit contribution margin. Right? So sometimes this formula will be presented as unit contribution margin divided by sales price per unit. Right. So um, essentially, we're calculating unit contribution margin here in the top, and then we're just dividing it by the unit sales price. Let's give that a go, though. Uh, so Unit contribution margin is the sales price per unit, $30, minus the variable cost per unit, $17, and then divided again by the unit sales price, so $30. So in our formula box here, I'm going to do 30 minus 17, so follow along in your calculator, and then I'm going to divide that result by $30. Okay, so we get 43.33%. So 43.33% of every sales dollar we earn goes towards contribution margin, which is used again to cover fixed costs and generate a profit. Uh, let's take a look at H now. D company has sales of 400,000 and variable costs of 320,000. Calculate the company's contribution margin ratio. So in this case, they're giving us totals. So we're going to use this first formula. And again, the numerator is the same thing that we learned in the second video when it comes to total contribution margin. So if we have sales of 400,000 and variable costs of 320,000, and we divide that by sales of 400,000, let's do that math. 
400,000 minus 320,000. Get that result, that would be 80,000, and divide that 80,000 by 400,000. Be very careful the way that you are putting this into your calculator because if you put it all in at once without your parentheses, it might try to divide before it subtracts. So we want to find that 80,000 and divide 80,000 by 400,000. 20%. So 20% of every sales dollar is left over to go towards fixed costs and generating a profit. That means that 80%. So 20% goes to contribution margin. That means that 80% of every dollar is absorbed automatically by variable cost. So very high variable cost in that situation. All right, let's do our last one. B company plans to sell 10,000 units of their product for total sales of 500,000. If the company has variable costs of $35 per unit, what is the company's contribution margin ratio? All right, so here we have to make a choice. They are giving us both total and per unit. We can't use both in the same formula. Either we have to commit to totals or we have to commit to units or per units. So um, let's go ahead and do per unit. Yeah. Uh, so I want, uh, let's start with the sales price per unit. They did not give us sales price per unit. So we are going to have to solve for that. I know my total sales are 500,000. And I know I have 10,000 units. So if I split up that 500,000 amongst those 10,000 units by dividing, I find that my sales price is $50 per unit. Variable costs are $35 per unit. And sales price is $50 per unit. So again, I can go ahead and do my math. 50 minus 35. Sorry, let me show you that the number math. 35 divided by 50, 30%. Now keep in mind, this 30% would be our result even if we use totals. So if we decide to use total sales of 500,000, total variable costs of, that would end up being 350,000 divided by our total sales, it would also give us 30%. So it doesn't matter which formula we use. What matters is that we stay consistent with whether we're using totals or units, okay? All right, so that's it for understanding contribution margins. This is usually one of the very, uh, very important first steps to conquering cost, volume, profit analysis. The next video in this series will be for break-evens. Uh, so if you are interested in that, I will include a link to that in the description below. But keep in mind, we have resources for this topic and many more on our website. So if you ever need something, tlctutoringcompany.com. And of course, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. But until next time, good work and happy studying.